welcome to another episode of EETV, where we strive to bring you everything in entertainment. This is my follow-up video from for Isom, issue number one. This video will focus on the explanation of Avery Silman, aka Isom's powers so far. So if you already read the first issue of Isom, we can focus on a couple of things. First, during the opening panels of Isom number one, we saw Avery Silman practicing boxing at his compound. He was hitting heavy bag. You also could see on, during the open panels of his ranch that he had a track, multiple. I mean, he had basically everything that an Olympic athlete, you could argue that. He had basically everything that an Olympic, Olympic athlete could have to stay in shape. What we've seen with his power so far, we've seen that he has super strength. During his first and second battles at ISOM number one, we see him knocking individuals more than several feet away with just a single punch or a kick. What we have also seen is the growth of those powers. During a specific panel, and I'm gonna picture it here, right there, you would see that in that panel, Avery Silman says he has trained his body to do things that no one else can do. That gives me a clue. That gives me a clue that he is an accept, but just like if you fast forward towards the end of the ISOM number one, when he had the conversation with his friend's bodyguard, that was also an accept. And the bodyguard said he hated that word because it's a generalization and all accepts are not the same. I think that Avery Silman is a different kind of accept. I think he's an accept that can that can acquire skills over time through, like I said in my previous video, through contact, sight, and most importantly, through rigorous training of his body. Because what we also see during that second fight with the bodyguard, he was able to move differently, faster, than he did during the first fight. And that was only noticed because he didn't have that particular power until he saw Yara do it when they had their fight. So we can see him acquiring powers. I wanna see how far this goes. Maybe we might get a little bit more into it in issue number two, but I think that is just some of his powers explained. It's the fact that he can learn fast and acquire new skills quickly. It's basically the same thing. I also think that through his rigorous training that he's able to increase not only his skills that he started off with, I think that the new skills that he has acquired through contact and sight battles, he'll be able to increase those skills through too, through rigorous training. That was apparent in the fight that you see there. And also, like I already speculated, that he cannot fly, but he's seen other individuals fly, Alpha Core, Yara, and he was also in contact with Yara during the battle where she, you know, grabbed him by the neck and threw him down on top of the taxi cab from a considerable height. So I am speculating maybe some powers that are on a lower scale are eaten like that's close to his base. It's easy for him to replicate, AKA if you already had, cause he's already shown that he has super strength. So if you have super strength and you increase it, one can argue that you also would get super speed because of the amount of strength that your legs can put out. So that's, that's why I think that he was able to replicate Yara's super speed only through one battle with her and seeing that technique once is because he already had a base of super strength. Now with flight is a, a different technique. I think he might get it over some time. I, I'm speculating, I don't know. There, there's nothing for me in issue number one. There's nothing in issue number one that says that he might get flight over time. This is why I think I'm going to have to buy the cards to see if some more clues are in the cards. So individuals that are watching this video or other creators, if they already have the cards, you know, they, they might have a clue as into what Avery Silman is further able to do 
with his powers. But I'm looking forward to unlocking the key to see if I'm right. And if I'm not correct, I'm looking forward to paying attention and rereading issue number one again and then issue number two when it's released to see how fast that I can figure this out. And like I said in my last video, this is this is why I like new work coming out because it gets me thinking, what is this? We already know what his motivation is, but how does Avery Silman approach a battle completely because he's still involving? How does he go about solving his problems? We already know some of that. We know that he plans ahead. We can tell that he plans ahead because he has his own ranch and business associated with that ranch. So you can see he's a thinker, he's a planner. We also see that he has a device that he kept on his ankle and then he transferred over to his bracelet after he escaped from the hospital that has a GPS locator to let his allies know where he is just in case he gets into trouble in a situation that he can't handle or that he has to quickly escape from. We also saw that he's able to quickly adapt skills. That's another thing I wanna mention. His strength increased when he fought the bodyguard a second time. He displayed more strength. And the panel that shows you that he, that he gained more strength during that second battle is when the bodyguard thought he was running away but he jumped onto the wall and then you saw the wall give way where his fingers were embedded and his toes from his steel toe embedded into the wall. You can see he was, he, that was an indication he was that he has gained more strength in the battle and he was able to projectile himself off the, off the wall and give a knockout blow to the bodyguard, something he wasn't able to do before. So I think after that battle, his strength increased. Now I don't, this is a new property, so I don't wanna necessarily keep comparing it to things, but if the one thing I could compare this to, Avery growing stronger after each battle, just like a saying would when he got the Zenkai boost. But that can be also argued as well because you know he lost. That can be argued against too because we could say maybe he acquired that strength through that first battle with the bodyguard or maybe he acquired that strength well yeah he, he did too whoever i think whoever he fights he's acquiring strength so he lost against the bodyguard and he lost against yaira when in that second battle against the bodyguard you would see that he was able to have more considerable strength just like the bodyguard and yaira and then just like from yaira he was able to have super speed so through those fights with those two individuals he was able to have a power boost and i think that's what his power is and i think that his power is unique that's why they couldn't tell he was an except when he was at the hospital because it's probably something that they never came across before because remember if you look at other properties what makes it interesting in anime or in american comics that you really want to follow the hero the fact that they they are unique and not like everybody else and they have a power set or the ability to gain skills over time through effort, sheer will, determination, and hard work to accomplish their goal. So I, I like this, like this story. Cannot wait to see how the story progresses. <laughs> hey, I'm enjoying it so far. So I thank Eric July. I thank all the his staff, anybody that was associated with the book, it's, it's, a, it's a great read and I, I, I like it and I'm looking forward to getting more in the Ripperverse and also what I'm looking forward to is when they start releasing books from other characters, when when Yaira gets her own series and when Alpha Core gets their own series and any other, and oh, oh, I cannot also forget too, the, um, the North Africa, the, the, the individuals who were performing at the concert, at the heavy metal concert, the individuals that were a band, they, like I said in my last video, they look like representations of different Norse and African gods. And I wanna see how those characters progress and see what they're bringing to the table as well. So I thank you for taking the time to tune into this video. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel like it. We also have an Instagram page entitled everything underscore entertainment underscore TV. And you can find me on Facebook as well. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.